MetaMask is a browser extension wallet. It's been the preferred way for early adopters and innovators in crypto um, to connect their wallet to decentralized applications. So we're going to do Chrome. Once I click Chrome and install for Chrome, it actually takes me to the Chrome Web Store, and I'll download this extension from their App Store. Now, once you've downloaded it, it'll open up a new page that looks similar to this, um, but it'll actually go through the setup, the setup process for your MetaMask, and it'll set up two key things. Um, it'll set up a, a password, just a typical password, so come up with your, your, your password that you want to. Um, write that down and don't store that online. And then it'll also give you what's called a secret recovery phrase. And let's go and show you what the secret recovery phrase is um, through the settings. We can go to security and privacy and we can always see our secret recovery phrase within our wallet. So I'll put in my password and during the setup process of creating your MetaMask wallet, they will give you 12 different random words. Your words will be different to mine. Here are my words. You now know my secret recovery phrase and could get into this wallet. Therefore, I'm never going to do anything with this wallet ever. Actually, this now has become our shared wallet. Um, write these down somewhere. Um, don't store these online. Uh, MetaMask has a little security video that you can watch. I think they recommend um, storing it in multiple places. So I remember writing this seed phrase down back when I installed my Meta MetaMask vividly. Uh, my seed, f my se secret recovery phrase, nor my password have never ever been online, and um, it gives me a lot of, um, you know, comfort for that. So store them somewhere um, that only for or you and your loved ones to see. So once you've got your password written down, your secret recovery phrase written down, it will test you and will say, please tell us the secret recovery phrase so that you can get into your wallet for the first time. And once you do, you will come here to our home page. Now, here is our wallet. You can have this user interface um, in a new tab or you can always click the fox in the top right hand corner, the fox icon, and as you can see, the little modal that pops up has the exact same user interface as the web page that we're looking at. Looking at the web page, we can always click MetaMask to come home. Here is our account. Um, your wallet address is a 0x address. It starts with 0x always, and then is a long string of numbers and letters. Um, we can copy that by clicking copy. We can name that. We can also here in the top right hand corner, uh, we have networks. So we have all the different blockchains that we can connect our Web3 wallet to. Here we have Ethereum and then a bunch of test nets as well. Um, additionally, if we wanted to connect to other blockchains, we could do that. Um, and that's a topic for another video. We have a My Account section up here in the top right hand corner. We could create multiple accounts under one secret recovery phrase. We also have the Settings section down here. We could also connect our MetaMask to a hardware wallet. Um, so we have hot wallets, which are digital and they are not physical. Um, and then we have cold wallets, which are physical wallets. So just wanted to let you know that we have those capabilities. Additionally, within MetaMask, we could buy tokens. How do we get assets to our MetaMask wallet? Well, we could deposit Ether through Wire, or we could deposit Ether through Transact, or we could di directly deposit Ether. Um, and this is what I typically do. I will typically send my cryptocurrencies from my central exchange. I use Coinbase mostly. Um, and I will copy my account number here. I will paste it. Um, into the Coinbase and say, great, Coinbase, send my Ether or send my stable coins uh, to this account, and then they will show up here. We could send currencies out, and then MetaMask actually has swapping features as well. So we don't even need to go to a decentralized exchange to swap. We could swap within MetaMask, which is a nice feature. I don't utilize that enough. Below those features, we do have our assets and an activity section. Once you start doing on-chain activities, those will pop up there. And then here we have our asset section. Every time you talk to a new token, you can import that token. So we can come here down the bottom. I've already imported one. And let's import Aave, because who doesn't love Aave? Great, I'm going to import those tokens. I don't have any Aave, but that's fine. Now I've got my three tokens showing up right here. And we could add as many tokens as we want here. This wallet holds our fungible tokens. So, you know, our Ether, our stablecoin. It also holds our NFTs, our non-fungible tokens as well. Those will not show up in this user interface. We'll have to connect our wallet to a third-party application to view NFTs. And let's just quickly talk about that, and we're done because we're over five minutes. 
If we go to a decentralized application like OpenSea for our NFTs, we would connect our wallet in the top right hand corner with MetaMask. Hopefully that was um, educational and helpful and has given you some brand new powers um, and taken and combined our social and bank identity that were separate in the Web2 world um, and now we're creating one on-chain identity for us to do on-chain commerce. Bye for now.